party. Have you been packing for the road trip? Yeah. Oh, what is it? <gasps> We've got your theorist, your toe suit, your shoes, a doggy. And the book. I haven't packed yet. We are going on a five or six day road trip because we have to be in Pittsburgh midweek for an eye appointment for Zaki. So we're going to spend a few days getting down and a few days getting back. Kind of exciting after a few weeks of big therapy to um, have a bit of an explore and see what we find. But packing is never fun for us. What? Packing's not fun. Packing is as much fun as you make it. The suitcase has come alive again. Lie down. Lie down, Oh, one bag of the suitcase is packed up. We're ready to go. Are we ready to go? Bonnie <laughs> 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 hasn't got ready to go yet. Yeah, she must be too excited packing. Pretty sure you nailed it there, Zaki. Mum gets very excited packing. How are you feeling, River? I'm excited to go to a hotel that goes to a pool. Are you excited to go to a hotel that has a pool? Yeah. Is that where we're going? What do you got there, River? The map to the secret waterfall. Map to the secret waterfall? And that is where the picture on the wall. Not sure how well this secret's been kept, buddy. Where are we going, Zachy? Let's go. Are we going for a swim? Oh, Zachy, I can see water down there. Go out on that bridge, can you? What's the bad news, Zaki? If you go across that bridge, you will go down there and sink right into the ocean. What? Do you think this is the ocean? I think it's just a big river, hey? You will sink. River, what do you think of it? What do you think, River? Yeah, great. Right. Great. We didn't um, walk across and see everything because uh, the kids were losing it a bit and it just started raining. So according to Google Maps, somewhere in this complex there is a Cinnabon. So we're going to go hunting for it. Hey guys, you ready? Is it, not, is it in this place? Yeah, I think so. We hope so, hey? Otherwise someone is going to be responsible. There you go. There you go. You ready, River? Cinnabon. What are you ready for, buddy? Cinnabon. The Cinnabon. Just met a baby with a Cadillac. Just met a baby with a Cadillac. Put her in the front and diaper in the back. He says, go, 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 go. Can't smell 
a shop yet, so let's hope there is one up here. Because once I've been in Asia and I smelt the shop and I found it because of the smell. Go, 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 go. What? Mm. Well, this be as good as I remembered. Wow. Here you go, Kim. Are the kids enjoying theirs? Kids don't care. Kids don't care. Kids just want Wow. Brought the kids to have a cinnabon and they're more interested in the cars. Get them the back and work. You want me to hop inside? Yeah. Do you reckon I can fit in there? Yeah. We are day two of our trip getting to Pittsburgh and we are in a place called Erie. I think we're in Pennsylvania. And we're going to drive to Pittsburgh today. And yeah, let's see how we go. We had a good rest last night and we Got this lovely view to look at this morning. Ready guys, day two. Ready for a road trip. Honestly, arriving in Pittsburgh, we were pretty tired. And I think for us on this whole trip that we've been on, uh, maybe four or five months in, this is the first time that I really got over traveling. I think coming off two really busy weeks of therapy and two days driving, took a few wrong turns, I kept getting us lost. So we weren't in the best headspace when we arrived in Pittsburgh. How are you doing, Jim? Are you nervous? I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I don't know where I am. So we found ourselves somewhere to stay in Pittsburgh. And we've got a view. Got a bit of a view. Hello, Pittsburgh. And we've got a special room for the boys. What? Yeah. What are you going to do? Sleep. You're going to sleep in that cupboard? Yeah. Okay, good night. No, when it's real night. Close. One's Korean, one's Indian. Close. So, good morning from Pittsburgh. We are about to run out and go to our eye appointment um, for Zaki. This woman that we're going to see, Dr. Rose, Christine Roman, is the leader in the world around vision processing. So for Zaki, this is a pretty big thing for him, and we are just so lucky to be able to see this woman today. We were going to go today and keep the road trip going and try and find something a bit beautiful in nature, but we're pretty tired um, from traveling for a few days, so we might just take it easy, and Tim's going to take River to the Science Museum while we're at the appointment. So we've just dropped um, Jess and Zaki off at the hospital. They've got their appointment here today. What are we going to do, River? We're going to see this. They're going to see at the Science Museum. At the Science Museum? Do you want to go there? Yeah. We just found out it's closed, so we're going to have to find something else to do. I think Jess and Zach's appointment's about four hours, so... Okay, we've done some looking and we think the Natural History Museum looks good. Hey, River. So the Natural History Museum is closed as well, but we do have other options. We are looking at now at the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh. How does that sound, River? Oh. River's starting to get a bit disheartened. Everything we decide is closed, so Tuesday's not a good day for museums. It's open, whoa, look at that. What is it? Hey? It's a size. It's a bit by the Are you ready? I don't know if you would have any idea what that would be. Hmm. Where's the word again? Look, L-O-O-K. Look at that tall letter. And the K has sort of like an arm and a leg that kick up. Mm -hmm. And a silly thing, a checkerboard, a checkered yak. A yak is a kind of animal. 
Yeah. During our appointment with the doctor, she did a whole lot of visual tests and these weren't the normal visual tests because they were looking at vision processing, which is quite different to how we actually use our eyes. And the tests that she did, we saw straight away that Zach wasn't seeing heaps of the things that were put in front of him. Pediatric View is really a place where families can bring their children for evaluations of their functional vision. Usually I conduct a CVI range evaluation to determine kind of the uh, extent of the impact of CVI. CVI is cortical vision impairment and it's something that affects so many children. It's actually the most common visual problem amongst children. But for children with disabilities and other labels, it's often not picked up. And it can be given other labels like ASD, because the way it presents is as if the children aren't getting the right sensory information. For Zach, what that looks like is we often do things with him, go out and about, read stories, play games, and he doesn't pick up the vision. He doesn't see things, even though his eyes are actually working, but the processing isn't working as clearly as it would for someone with full processing in their eyesight. One of the things I know for sure about children with CVI is that we cannot be random. We can't just say, oh, I have, I saw four things on Pinterest for CVI. I'll do that. That results in almost no improvement. What we have to do, in my belief, is be really targeted and really diagnostic and really very consistent and then blend those things with activities that the child would already be doing in the day or that they, you hope they can learn. And it's missing something. There's a little roof, like on a tower. Did you make a tower? Getting this diagnosis for Zaki has been one of the most important puzzle pieces that we have found for him. This is the difference between Zach learning to read or not. Zach being assumed that he can't understand and can't keep up in class, when actually Dr. Christine turned to me and said, I think Zach is a gifted child, but if we don't mediate, how he learns and give him specific neuroplastic training to help him to catch up with that processing, he'll be overlooked. What do you want me to draw? A bus. A bus? Yeah. Okay, who's gonna be driving the bus? Me. River, there's River. Yeah. We've got our bus on there. So we've heard from one of the staff members that there's a garage exhibit which might be right up River's Alley. It's got some cars in there. So we're gonna go have a look, hey River? Whoa, it went all the way down. So River and I had a blast and the four hours went by quickly. I love the car garage, but I would have to say that River's favorite was the water play area. Are you going fishing? At this stage, we are only two weeks into our month-long physio intensive, and seeing how much more mobility and independence River had was really encouraging. River's decided he wants to run through the water. You want to run through that water, River? So we just finished with Dr. Christine Roman, and oh my gosh, what a treat. She is a lovely human. I just cannot believe she gave us like three hours, gave her a boss a book, didn't chat, we didn't pay anything. And she's just passionate about helping kids and um, always helps when someone tells you you think so, your child's also a gifted child. <laughs> Nothing we didn't know. Nah, Hi guys. I brought that in his phone. What did you do? That I brought Dr. Christine. Dr. Christine, was that good? Yeah. That was a made life changing yeah, for Zach. Yeah. Hey, Zachy. She I said. Probably always find the best. He's the sort of child no, you dream about you working with in your career. Oh, wow. Be all right with she said me. he's ultra yeah. intelligent. So, with Zachy and Jess on a high from their appointment, and River and I enthused by ours, we decided to check out what else Pittsburgh had to offer. Looked up this sort of random art house museum random house thing so we're gonna go check it out it's actually a really cool city pittsburgh your destination is on the left what is this cool place This is a really cool little community project started by a man called Randy, so it's called Randy Land. It's a community.
community artist and community dreamer and he years ago set up all these community gardens and then he bought this space and it's beautiful, it's creative and he offers it up to heaps of people. What are you digging, Zaki? Oh, we got there. It's really vibrant and Pittsburgh is way more vibrant than anywhere we've been yet, which is so cool. So it is the day after our medical appointment in Pittsburgh and we are going to go and hit the town, have some fun. What do you think, Jess? What should we get up to? The museum's on the card. Jess is designing. What are you designing? I'm designing some logo. River, your ears off. <gasps> hey, Spider-Man. Where do you want to go today? And it, and it. There's a pool in the in the in the museum. To a pool and a museum. Yeah. You ready, sing? La 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 Face says it all. Well, I wrote a little yeah. ditty. Yeah. It's a bit scary. Yeah. What can you see? But the dinosaur carry a long, long time ago. And the boy in the sea said it what must be for me. What's that? But it was just a little that ditty. Like a walrus. The girl in the city. And it went. What is that, Zaki? What is it? Where do we live? In the snow house. In the snow house. So both the boys appreciated this museum in their own way. River was off racing, going from one exhibit to the other at the speed of light. Zaki, he was taking his time, spending sometimes 10 minutes at one, showing off his new standing skills. It was a great way to wrap up our time in Pittsburgh. Do you dream about dinosaurs, River? I dream about these dinosaurs. How many legs does the ant have, River? One. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. We might not have got the time and nature that we had hoped for this week, but we received a new diagnosis with significant implications. Ultimately, it's just another crucial piece in the puzzle, and it made this week so worthwhile. Now it's a song for you. Now it's a song for you. How is he doing this? How is he able to stand?